Oh, excuse me. My hands shake so when I'm around you. Ah, black and white movies. The blatant racism, the casual misogyny, everyone's wearing the suit. What's not to love? The true cinema classics. Monochrome memories of a bygone era left to us by the Hollywood greats. Toward the end of the 1950s, Tinseltown was changing. Gone was the spectacle of big budget studio musicals and shadowy film noir. It was time for a new Hollywood Boulevard. Time for a young, hopeful, leather jacket wearing America. By this trend, a lot of silent stars and pre-co picture legends found themselves out of work or confined to smaller roles. Seeing an opportunity to capitalize on a growing dramatic half-hour format, NBC sought out a Hollywood icon for her third foray into television. Enter... Tonight, from Hollywood, The Barbara Stanwyck Show. Known for playing intelligent, headstrong women, Barbara Stanwyck saw her film career decline toward the 1950s. Other than an unsold pilot and a couple of guest appearances, she hadn't really had a chance to fully showcase her acting abilities on the silver screen. NBC had already had great success with the Loretta Young Show and other networks doing the anthology series hosted by a celebrity. NBC themselves would later release Boris Karloff's thriller in that year, a direct competitor to Alfred Hitchcock Presents. Only lasting for one season, The Barbara Stanwyck Show presents the legendary actress in a wide bevy of roles. From rocket scientist to fashion designer, jewel smuggler, adoptive mother trying to save her deaf child from electrocution. Such a level of women representation was unseen in television at the time. Barbara herself was disappointed at the scarcity of roles for older actresses and strove to be an advocate for changing cinema tastes. Other notable names who guest starred on the series include Peter Falk, Joan Blondell, and Lee Marvin, just to name a few. The legendary Jacques Tourneur also directed 11 episodes, putting his stamp on the drama anthology. The Barbara Stanwyck Show was canceled in 1961 due to low viewership and NBC's acquisition of Alfred Hitchcock Presents from CBS. However short-lived, it marks a high point in television drama where beloved Hollywood actresses, rather than being cast to the side, were given ample opportunities to continue to work on and off the big screen. Next week, we bring you a most unusual story, Sign of the Zodiac, which gives me the dramatic role of a woman obsessed by guilt. Dan Duryea and John Blondell are cast as the guest stars in the most mysterious chain of cause and effect. I hope that you will tune in to see them and that you enjoyed tonight's show. It has been brought to you by the Alberto Culver Company, makers of Rinse Away for Clean Hair and Scalp, and the new Crystal Clear VO5 Holding Hairspray.